Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian Nightmare, former welterweight champion, uh, has an opponent in mind for his next fight. Um, and that guy is Steven Wonderboy Thompson. That's who he wants to fight next. And honestly, this is smart on Kamaru Usman's part. I mean, his logic and reasoning was, well, Usman or Wonderboy was one of like the last guys sort of of his generation, of his era, that he never got a chance to fight, you know, in the time that he was, you know, on his winning streak in the world champion which honestly that is true of all the other guys that he's fought like woodley and colby um he hadn't had a chance to fight wonder boy and he could have if wonder boy didn't lose to gilbert burns and they would have definitely given the title shot to stephen wonder boy thompson um but i'm all for this matchup i mean i was thinking like his next fight and his next fight probably is going to be bilal muhammad um and he said he wouldn't fight shavkat unless it's for a title which is a little bit sus but I get it, they're from the same gym, so a little understandable. But for Usman, this is like the easiest fight he could pick out um, out of every welterweight in the top 10. Steven Wonderboy Thompson. But on, on Wonderboy's end, is that a matchup that he would want to take? Because Wonderboy has always talked about since that L streak in 2021, he's talked about he does not want to fight wrestlers anymore. You know what I mean? He's only asked to fight strikers because how do Burns and Muhammad beat him? They beat him through dominating with their wrestling. And I expect the same thing to happen if he fights Usman. If he fights Usman, Usman's just going to get a hold of him, ragdoll him, control him on the ground, and dominate him to a unanimous decision. Um, if it's three rounds, 30-27. And if it's five rounds, 50-45. Pure domination by Kamaru Usman. Um, but if I'm Wonderboy Thompson, if, if I'm still serious about being a champion, like if you want to be a champion, you're, you're going to have to suck it up. You're going to have to just, you're going to have to grow a pair and you're going to have to be willing to fight any and all styles because you can't talk about wanting to be a champion, but only wanting to fight strikers because the top five is filled with a lot of well-rounded, complete fighters. So you got to up your game, Thompson. If you really want that world title and Usman is going to be a fast track to that title because let's say you win that fight with Kamaru. I don't think you will, but let's say you do. You beat the number one guy. That's like an easy ticket to get a title shot right there. And then you can just fight the winner of Covington versus Edwards and you could probably leapfrog Bilal Muhammad for a title shot because... You know, I respect Bilal, but a lot of the masses don't want to see him fight for the belt. And Wonder Boy is a fan favorite. So I could see Wonder Boy sort of getting that privilege over um, Bilal Muhammad. But we'll see if this fight does get made. Um, I hope it does, because as a Kamaru Usman fan, I want to see my guy, the Nigerian Nightmare, uh, get an easy dub. I don't want to see him fight Bilal Muhammad, because at this stage in their career, in Usman's career, post head kick, He's not all the way the same anymore. He's no longer this untouchable force. And I feel like now that would be a more winnable fight for Bilal and a tougher fight for Usman. And I definitely don't want to see him fight Shavkat Rachmanov either. I would love to see him just get a fight where I know he can win and I know he can dominate. A, a, a fight that's going to get him back on the winning track. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens from there. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments.